Hey friends, it's Amy Dab the Kiddo Queen. I hope you're having a great day. We're in the house and it is Thursday. We're cooking a really simple, easy meal. Look how beautiful these vegetables are. I would love to know in the comments as you're jumping on what you're doing for dinner tonight and where are you watching from. I love easy meals. And if you go to my recipe blog, that's all you will find is easy meals. There's very few meals in there that have more than seven ingredients or has more than one or two layers of work to do. This is one of the simplest dis dishes, but Ricky and I both thoroughly enjoy it. It is a cheesy chicken taco bake. And all you do, and I'm using two skillets tonight, but all you do is take some garlic herb butter. So like I buy the butter with garlic herb. Uh, this one I think was uh, Land Lake. You can make your own butter if you want to, just by melting butter and seasoning it. But I used um, garlic herb butter and we cut up some peppers. I'm using a red and an orange one. You can use whatever color peppers you like. You can do multiple peppers. It's your dish, but I'm gonna show you how simple it is. So we've got our peppers and we're sauteing them, getting them soft. Actually, I think I need a little uh, top over it. Let's see if I got a top that'll do that. I got so many tops. So many tops. Right, it's a little too big, it's okay. Whoop. So I'm gonna put a top on that so it'll cook a little faster. And then we have another skillet, and you can do it one at a time if you want to, but I mean, I like to cook fast. We have another skillet of chicken. So what I did is just uh, cut chicken chunks. Uh, you can cook them however you want to. You can actually do ground chicken if you want to. You can do steak, you can do turkey, you can do anything you want, but I'm doing a cheesy chicken taco bake. And we have our chicken also cooked in that garlic herb butter. And we seasoned both of them with some uh, taco seasoning that's gone now. So I used uh, Flavor God's taco seasoning. I love Flavor God's Taco Tuesday. So that's what I used, and, and I'm adding just a little kick to it. You don't know this, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning to it. It's a little spicy Cajun. So we're gonna have a lot of seasonings in this. You don't have to add the spicy if you don't want to. You can just keep the taco or fajita seasoning, whichever one you love. But once that chicken and the peppers cook, now you can do, you can do onions too if you want to, but I don't. I do uh, just peppers to keep the carb counts down, but it wouldn't be bad to add onion in there as well. <clears throat> but once the chicken is cooked, we're going to carefully move it over to a casserole dish. And when I say carefully, I just mean we don't want all the juices. Like the juice is good because it's garlic herb butter, <laughs> but we don't want the juice from the chicken uh, getting into our casserole dish. So we're gonna carefully put the chicken over here in our casserole. I'm using a nine by 13. It's actually a little smaller than that. It is a dish that I've had forever. I think I got it when I got married back in 1996, so that's how old it is. We're gonna transfer the chicken over to this casserole dish, and then we're gonna top it off or mix in those vegetables. So I'm using an orange and a red pepper. If you like the green ones or the yellow ones, it doesn't matter. You can use any kind of peppers you want. You also can do some sliced onion in there if you want to. Now I'm doing chicken. Again, you can use any kind of protein you want to. But guys, it is so easy. All you do is take your chicken, take your peppers, both seasoning, both seasoned with taco seasoning or fajita seasoning, either way. And then we're gonna mix them together. We're gonna top it off with some Fiesta cheese blend. You can shred your own cheese or use the package because like I'm in a hurry tonight. I've got some work I gotta do. So we're gonna top it off with some cheese because it is called a cheesy taco bake. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes until the cheese melts. Dinner is served. You can serve it just like that, eating it on your plate just like that, or you could pour it over some cauliflower rice, or you can use those low carb tortilla shells and wrap it up like a taco, and that's what Ricky likes to do. He actually likes to wrap it up with the low carb tortilla shells, and I hope I've got some because I forgot to buy them at the grocery. Now, we are gonna cook this for about 20 minutes because we want the, uh, the cheese to melt, so you can get your peppers as soft as you would like, on the skillet before you transfer over. Um, if you put them in here really hard, you know, they may be really crunchy. I don't like mine crunchy, but I don't like mushy. Okay. I don't like crunchy, but I don't like mushy, so I like to cook mine until they're, they're fairly soft, and then I'm gonna mix them in the chicken. They're almost done. Now, while we're waiting on the peppers, I would love to know, actually, I'm gonna taste my little piece of chicken here. Mm-hmm, mm, good, good, good. Woo, good and good, good and seasoned. While we're waiting on this, uh, the peppers, I would love to know um, if you guys like easy meals or if you really like to experiment with something hard. 
So if you like easy meals, put easy in the comments. Guys, if you're brand new to my page and you're looking for getting started tips and easy recipes, I'm glad you're here because that's what I like to do. I like to teach people how to eat so simple and food that actually makes you feel good also makes you look good <laughs> because you're naturally going to be eating less calories when you eat really good food. All right, so we're fixing to mix in these peppers. Same thing. We're going to uh, try to get the juice out of the peppers because we don't want a whole plate full of butter. Man, they smell good. They look good. Look at that. I mean, look how beautiful that is. I love easy meals too. I see you guys. No, nobody likes to spend hours in the kitchen. I don't, I mean, there are some professional shelves that, that I know they cook all day and all night, like on the super yachts and, you know, the fine dining restaurants. But when I come home, I want to be able to cook fast. I want to be able to eat and clean fast. So every meal that you see in my recipe blog will take you 30 minutes or less, 30 minutes or less to cook. Enjoy your dinner and then get out of the kitchen. Like enjoy life. You don't have to be in the kitchen cooking hard meals. And so many people think that the only way to eat low carb or keto is to have all these fancy meals and fancy gadgets in the kitchen. It just ain't true. Just ain't true. That pepper's taking forever. All right, maybe I should cover it back up again. But if you guys have not gotten my getting started tips before, I'd love to share them with you. Just put getting started in the comments. The recipe to this dish is going to be in this link or the link to this recipe is going to be in this post as soon as I finish this live video. So you guys can go direct to this recipe, but you also can go to the menu bar and look at all the recipes if you want to. I am cooking a cheesy taco bake, cheesy taco chicken. So we've got our chicken and we cooked it in a garlic herb butter to get it really good and really good and seasoned. We seasoned it up with some taco seasoning. So we cooked the chicken. I just cut it up in little chunks. Then we cooked it in garlic herb butter. I just bought garlic herb butter. And then we seasoned it with taco seasoning. You can also use Fiesta seasoning. And then in my other skillet, because I didn't want to wait on it, I've got peppers. I'm using a red and an orange pepper, or a red and yellow, I can't remember. But the same thing, we just seasoned it with the taco seasoning and uh, sauteed it in the garlic herb butter. So you're doing the same thing for both. And then we're just going to mix it all together, top it off with a, a, a blend of cheese, a fiesta blend is what I love. Ricky likes to wrap his up in a low-carb tortilla. I eat it just like this. You also can put it over a bed of cauliflower rice or even uh, broccoli rice. Or um, I mean, There's so many options, but I love it just like this. Uh, we love fiesta uh, anything, so we love, we love uh, this is just not, this is taking forever. I got to cook it for 20 minutes, though, so I don't want to get too soft. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over. So now we're just going to get as much of the butter juice out of it and we're gonna mix it in with the chicken and this is gonna be so pretty. We're gonna to top it off with that Fiesta blend cheese. Again, I say this almost every night, just because I love cheese doesn't mean you have to. And if you don't, it's okay. You don't have to put cheese on this. This is absolutely delicious, but it is called a cheesy chicken taco bake. So when you add your cheese, you can add anything that you love. You can add the amount you love. It doesn't have to be as much as mine, but we love this cheesy. Again, you can use a Fiesta blend seasoning or taco seasoning. There are so many taco seasonings that you can buy and or even make low carb yourself, like cre uh, creating your own seasonings. You can go to Pinterest or Google and just put low carb taco seasoning or low carb Fiesta seasoning and you'll see a lot of recipes pop up. It doesn't take long at all. And then what we do, like this one, this is Ricky's grilling seasoning. You can buy these little things at Walmart for three bucks, like three to five dollars, and you've got your own little seasoning canister. You do have to wash it out and clean it out every once in a while. Uh, but you can make your own seasonings. You also can use an airtight, here's another one, airtight container. <laughs> Mix it up, create your own seasonings. It's so much better for you than using the ones that are full of sugar at the store. Because I love Miss McCormick, but to be 100% honest, when you look at the back of the package, there's carbs in it because there's sugar in it. <laughs> there's carbs in it because there's sugar in it. But if you make your own seasoning with cumin and paprika and uh, chili powder, and uh, I'm trying to think of all those things, chili powder, cumin, uh, paprika, garlic, salt, pepper. I mean, you can make your own seasonings, and it's almost identical and delicious without all the sugar. All right, now look how pretty this is. It looks wonderful. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese to the top for a cheesy chicken taco bake. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Ah, Frankie, no. Frankie, don't do that. Oh, you're a faker. You're a faker. You're a faker, boy. All right, so we're going to top it off 
with this Fiesta cheese blend. Like I said, you can uh, shred up your own cheese. It tastes so much better. But I am in a hurry tonight, and when I'm in a hurry, I got tricks. <laughs> and I'm going to use this already shredded cheese for that purpose. All right, as much or as little as you want, this is a Fiesta blend. So I think it's got Colby Jack, queso, ooh, queso, yum, Monterey Jack, ooh, it's got a little bit of uh, um, pepper jack, yum. All right, so I'm just going to top it off. As little or as much as you want, don't judge me. Ricky loves cheese too. All right, and then we're going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the cheese is good and bubbly and you are done. Hang on just a second. Let me see if you guys have questions for me. All right, if you guys have questions for me, put them in the comments. If you haven't already, I'm going to check really quickly. And if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up my kitchen because i got a lot to do tonight. I'm so excited to be home. But I've got to start cleaning my closet because I've got a pack for they fix. So I've gained a lot. Oh, I got you, Amanda. So sorry to hear that. Troy makes his own taco seasoning. Oh, crap, my freedom. This definitely is, you know, you can make, this is the thing with casserole dishes, you can create however many servings you want to. You can make your servings out of that casserole dish, half a cup, fourth cup, full cup, cup and a half, you get to decide. So when I'm cooking a casserole, I truly will just look and see who am I going to feed tonight. And if I'm really watching carb counts, I will add up the carbs that are in the casserole and divide it out. So, for example, my Dorito casserole, I love that Dorito casserole, but I normally cook, cut it in either six or eight slices so I can lower the carb count. So, you get to decide um, how many servings you create. Now, when I'm cooking my protein, low-carb vegetables, cooked in healthy fats, like last night, my, uh, when I cooked pork chops, oh yeah, those pork chops, that garlic butter, um, oh, it was so good. The garlic butter pork chops and uh, the cabbage, that was so yummy. I had cabbage left over. It was way too much for me and Ricky to eat by ourselves. I had two pork chops for each of us. So we had one serving, but the serving was two pork chops. So you really get to create your own dishes. The thing with carb counts is like a, a casserole like that. All you have to do, guys, is Google how many net carbs are in a bell pepper, an orange bell pepper. If you know a orange bell pepper has, I'm just going to make something up, seven net carbs, and you have two of those, and that's 14 carbs we just put in that plate. 14 carbs for two full peppers. That was the only carbs. There's no carbs in chicken. There's no carbs in the seasonings. So that's all you got, 14 carbs. Well, I allow myself 20 carbs or more every day. So if I wanted to, I could eat that whole day on thing. I'm not going to because I don't need to. I'm not hungry. Hey, and you shouldn't need to because the healthy fats actually make you full. But if you think about your carb counts, if you're really watching carbs, that's how you do it. You just look and see what ingredients you're putting into your dish and then add the carbs up. And you divide it by however many servings. So if that dish right there, if I make four servings out of it and there's, I just made up a number a while ago, 14 carbs in the whole thing, how many carbs are in your servings if you create four? So it's really easy. You don't have to spend tons of time trying to figure it out. Just eat sensibly. As far as fixing my plates, what I normally do is have my protein. I prioritize protein, so I always have at least five to six ounces of protein. So if it's a small pork chop, I have two. If it's a big pork chop, I might have one. I'll come back and get a second one if I'm still hungry. But what I do is put my protein on my plate and then a cup or a half cup of vegetables. That's it. If I start with a half cup of vegetables and I'm still full, I'll go get some more. It's okay to go back. The thing is, if you create smaller plates, when you're eating low carb, especially keto, where you're having the, the high fats for seasoning, you get full fast. So if you eat sensibly, a lot of times you don't need to go back for a second plate. But if you do, it's okay. We want to eat when we're hungry, right? We just don't want to overeat just because it's dinner time. All right, guys. And also another trick for me is I don't fix a whole lot of extra food. When I'm shopping at the grocery store and I'm cooking for me and Ricky, because we're the only ones that live here, I only buy four pork chops. Because he's going to eat two, no matter what. And if I eat one, and I've got one left, then I've got lunch for one of us. If I want to, then I have to. But I'm not going to buy a six-pack or an eight-pack. And if I do, I use my Silla meal, seal them up individually. And when I buy my vegetables, you guys will notice I don't cook three or four different side dishes. Now, back in the day, I did. When my kids lived here and we, were, we was not really focusing on food, I would have a potato and some kind of pasta or green beans and corn. Like, I'd have two or three different options but it never was an option. We'd fill our plates up with all the food. It's absolutely not necessary. You just need a protein, 
a low carb vegetable cooked in healthy fats and you're going to be full and you don't need to spend all the time in the kitchen cooking all of these things and having to clean up and having all the leftovers that you either have to eat or you have to throw away and i despise wasting food so i never buy a whole lot when we're cooking i will have a bag of steamed uh broccoli that i use for our broccoli and ricky and i devour it if I'm cooking a cabbage, we always have extra because cabbages are just huge, but we eat on it all week. Um, if I'm doing asparagus, I usually will just buy one bundle. Ricky loves asparagus though, so lately I've been buying two bundles and I've been finding it's too much. So I try not to cook an overabundance, that way I don't have it over here on the stove for me to just pick at. Because that's a, a, a habit, it's just a habit of coming by and fixing more on your plate or, or having more. Um, let's see... Thank you. I appreciate that. I had, had went and got my hair uh, colored and you know, your hairstylist always fixes it different than you because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Karina, I'm going to join the next reboot. Too much crazy going on this month. I get it, girl. Um, it's a lifestyle change, not a death sentence. Yes, the death sentence is not changing your lifestyle. The death sentence is not changing your lifestyle. That's the honest truth. If you continue down the path where you're not sleeping well, you have no energy, your joints are hurting, like what kind of life do you have? You don't get out to enjoy the day because you're in pain or you're just too exhausted. When your grandkids come over, you're just watching them. You're not actually playing with them. You're not walking in the yard with them. If you are, it's for a split second. You're not enjoying vacations or trips to the store because you just are exhausted. So your energies are, your energy levels are down, your joints are hurting, you're depressed, like you're just exhausted. If you continue that path and not change your lifestyle, then you that is the death sentence. That truly is the death sentence. So I really do look at this as a lifestyle change. I'm not depriving myself. I'm eating great food. I'm having the time of my life. I feel better than I ever have, and I'm fixing to turn, I can't remember if I'm 47. I think I'm gonna turn 47 in November. That's awful, isn't it? When you get old, you have to calculate it. I think I'm 46. I think I'm 46 right now, I turn 47 in November. But it doesn't matter, like I don't even feel it. <laughs> I feel great. Uh, now, right now, you guys know, if you're following my page, there is some personal stress going on in our life, and that's just a part of life. But it's not going to control me. It's not going to dictate how I feel like it has in my past. This is the first time I've ever been solely in control, and it's all about my ketones that I drink and the ketones I create through my food. So I absolutely love this lifestyle. If you guys have any questions or you want those getting started tips, just put getting started in the comments, and I would love to send you information. I really enjoy helping people get started and just to, for you to be able to experience the change um, and, and eat great food. So if you need those getting started tips, put getting started in the comments. If you need me personally, I'd love to help you and talk to you. But I did just have a missed call. So I'm curious if it's someone who's looking out for some advice or needs help. So let me return this call and get my kitchen cleaned up before I have a scheduled um, date tonight. So guys, have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Bye.